Hello, Mr. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? ¿Me escucha? Siempre dale algo azulito. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. Fine. Good evening, Miss Sonia. How are you today? Eh, buenas noches. Good, good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. I like to hear that. That you are okay. Okay. All right. We're going to begin the class Thank in two minutes left. Vamos a iniciar la clase en dos minutos. Okay. Teacher, why not good night? Uh, good night is when you go to sleep. Cuando se va a dormir. Okay. Y good evening mm -hmm. es antes de, por ejemplo, de okay. seis. Comúnmente en Estados Unidos se dice good night, por, por ejemplo, cuando a su esposo o a su esposa, porque ya se van a dormir. ¿verdad? Pero en este, en este tramo aún se puede decir good evening. Good evening. Ok. Thank you. Anytime. Sí. Es, teacher, es como, es como para, o sea, cuando, cuando uno saluda, tiene que ser good evening. Sí, cuando ejemplo, llega a algún lugar, cuando exacto. llega a algún lugar. Uh -huh. Comúnmente se utiliza good evening, pero eh, good night es comúnmente, sí se puede decir, pero es como se refiere más para ir, para ir a dormir. Ah, sí, gracias. Sí, pero también se, en ciertos casos se puede utilizar, pero comúnmente se utiliza good evening. Gracias. Okay, it's time. We're going to begin. It is eight o'clock. Okay, so so far we have in Zoom we have Miss Brenda, it is Miss Brenda, Mr. Carlos, Miss Sonia, and Mr. Alexander. Okay. Miss Elsa is coming too. Okay, well, yesterday we had this exercise. Yesterday we had this exercise, realizamos este ejercicio, okay? Uh, you have to fill in the blanks using the uh, activities. Okay, vamos, tenían que rellenar los espacios utilizando estos verbos. Por ejemplo, tenemos check my email, we have type, my, type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, call client, read a report, 
visit clients, organize meetings. Okay. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta con alguno de estos verbos? ¿Alguno que no sé, que lo desconozca el significado? Todo está claro. Ok. Good evening, Miss Elsa. Nice to see you. Okay. Hi, teacher. Okay, let's start. So, in the first one, the first one, number one, it is, I call clients every day. I use my company's phone. Okay, how about number two, our secretary? Our secretary. Then she sent them via email. What do you have in number two? Number two, mm -hmm. type a letter. Okay, so our secretary. Yo puse en la opción el, el uno, check my email. En la opción dos. Hello, teacher present. Hello, okay. Alberto number... Rivas. Number two, okay, I'm going to take the attendance list. Later on, voy a tomar asistencia unos par de minutos, solo estoy esperando que ingresen la mayoría. Okay, well, uh, number two, our secretary. Okay, ¿qué hacemos cuando utilizamos he, she, or it al verbo? What do we do to the verb? Okay, so. What a teacher? Writes a report. Types, types a letter. Okay, or writes a letter. Or oh, type a letter. Okay. Types a letter. Okay. I can hear you. Don't. Hello? Okay. How about number, number three? Number three. I check my email. Okay, I check. I check my email. I check my email twice a day. I use my comp my laptop computer. Okay. How how about number four? Number four. I have to organize meeting. I have to edit a meeting. I have to organize. Every okay, I have to organize meeting every Monday at eight. Right. How about number five, Celia? So still... Organize meeting. Organize this. meeting. Okay, organizes meeting. The meeting take place in the auditorium. Good. Okay, number six, you have to create. You need to create super super. Yeah. Eh, oración. About Miss Carolina, what did what did you write in number six? Escribió la número six. No la hice, teacher. Okay, how about Mr. Juan Ricardo? Do you have number six? Okay, Miss Brenda, do you have number six? I visit clients. The next Monday. Excellent. I visit client next Monday. Good job. Mr. Carlos Martinez, do you have number six? Sorry, teacher. No, no la creé. Okay. It's okay. Mr. Samuel, do you have number six? Yes, I got it. I visit, I visit clients every day. Okay. I visit clients every day. Good job. Okay. We're going to refresh. We're going to recall the use of simple present. Vamos a recordar un poco sobre el uso del el simple present. Okay. Y vamos a agregar también ciertas, una regla que se nos olvidó mencionar de ayer. Bueno, el simple present. Okay, there you, here we go. Okay, eh, as you remember, we have the subjects. Tenemos los sujetos. Recordamos que en inglés siempre utilizamos los sujetos o los pronombres a la hora de hablar. Y tenemos... I, we, you, and they. We have the verb. In this case, it is 
eh, like. Okay? We like cheese. They like cheese. Y tenemos la forma negativa. ¿Cómo es la forma negativa cuando utilizamos, por ejemplo, I, we, you, and they, Miss, Miss Brenda? Don't. Okay, good. We don't like or, cheese. Or do not. Or do not. Good job. Y también tenemos, y también tenemos tres eh, sujetos, tres pronombres, okay, que pertenecen a la tercera persona. Okay. Tenemos he, she, it. He, she, it. Y decimos, y dijimos que en el presente simple, en la forma afirmativa, vamos a agregar S o S al verbo, ok, únicamente en la, en la forma afirmativa. En ocasiones nos confundimos y, y le agregamos S incluso en la forma negativa y es un error. Únicamente vamos a agregar S o ES en la forma afirmativa cuando utilizamos los sujetos he, she o he. En este caso utilizamos el verbo like. Like. Y vamos a agregar únicamente ese porque el verbo termina en E. Y decimos, she likes cheese. Or eh, he likes cheese. ¿Okay? También tenemos la forma eh, negativa. En este caso es, doesn't, doesn't like cheese. Hay que, eh, hay que, esta regla es muy importante. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, en ocasiones cometemos el error, el error de decir, they doesn't like, ok, y únicamente vamos a utilizar doesn't con he, she, and it, ok, Pat, uh, be careful on that, vale. be careful, let's continue, ok, Ten también tenemos eh, unas, un, podemos llamarle verbos irregulares, ok, en la forma del presente simple, tenemos estos dos verbos, tenemos el verbo have and the, the do, Okay, el verbo have significa tener, and do significa hacer. Have mm -hmm. and do. So, eh, cuando utilicemos el verbo have con, la, con he, she, or it, ya no vamos a agregar, ya no vamos a decir eh, he, have, sino que vamos a decir has. Okay? She has, she has, he has, it has. Y cuando tengamos... Eh, los pronombres they, we, you, and I, ahí en ese caso sí lo vamos a mantener. Have, they have, we have, ellos tienen, tú tienes, yo tengo. Ok, eh, once again, una vez más, únicamente vamos a utilizar el verbo have, únicamente va a cambiar en, con los sujetos he, she, or, and it. Ok, en ese caso sí vamos a decir eh, has. Eh, she has. Ok, eh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo dirían ella tiene una casa? O él tiene una casa. How, how would you say that? He has, she a, has a house. She has, has a house. house. Ok, ¿cómo dirían ellos tienen? Eh, they have. Excelente. Good job. They have. ¿Ok? ¿Nota mental? Has. En have. ¿Ok? Únicamente lo vamos a utilizar con esos tres sujetos. Y eh, también el verbo do. El verbo do. Significa hacer. Do. Teacher, sí, pero es no. do es solamente verbo auxiliar o solamente, o solamente significa hacer. Eh, right. Esta es una pregunta, una muy buena pregunta, señor Juan. Fue Alberto. Ok, eh, eh, cuando decimos do como auxiliar, ahí ya no, ya no cumple una función como verbo. Únicamente nos está ayudando mm -hmm. a identificar que la oración es una, que esa oración o es una pregunta. Ok, pero por ejemplo, en este contexto, va a depender bastante del contexto. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. aquí es para decir, ella hace eh, algo, para decir, para decir, ella hace la tarea. Vamos a decir, she does the homework, o she does homework. ¿Y en qué tiempo lo estamos aplicando? ¿Es presente simple o...? Presente simple. Únicamente en el presente simple. Ok. E, e, y en su forma afirmativa. Ya vamos a ver unos ejemplos. Ok. Y cuando utilicemos they, we, you and I, vamos a decir do. Para decir, ellos hacen la tarea. They do the homework. Or they do the... Uh, 
they do the homework. Ok. Vamos a ver unas oraciones. We're going to see. Some. Okay, here we have the sentences. For example, uh, she has two sons. Okay, únicamente en su forma afirmativa, pero en la forma en la forma negativa, para decir ella tiene dos hijos, para decir ella no tiene dos hijos, vamos a decir she doesn't have two sons. Como ustedes pueden ver, regresó a la forma original o la forma infinita del verbo. Okay. O sea, el does como que dosen eh, absorbe la acción del Exacto. verbo. Ok, regresa a la forma infinitiva. La forma infinitiva significa sí. sin conjugación el verbo. Mm. Como pueden ver, únicamente vamos a utilizar has sí. afirmativa y en la forma negativa regresará el verbo a su forma, a su forma original. She has two sons. Ok, and she doesn't have two sons. Then we have the verb have. They have two cars. They have two cars. Negative form. They don't have two cars. Okay, is there any question so far? Alguna pregunta por el momento? Any question? Y si por casualidad llevamos, tenemos una S, podemos utilizar siempre da, da, das. No. No, eh, si por ejemplo, dijimos que vamos a agregar S únicamente en la forma afirmativa. Afirmativa, ok. Ah, por ejemplo, si usted dice dasen, entonces ya es la forma negativa. En ese caso ya no agregamos S o ES. Ok. Ok, now I'm going to start taking the tenor list. Ok, don't forget to have your camera on, please. con eh, Miss Brenda Alice. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Amaya Castro. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Carolina Cardona de Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Edgar José Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present teacher. Excelente. Díaz Mejía. Díaz Mejía. Ever Giovanni Ortiz. Present. Here. Heidi Marisol. Present. José Nicolás García Maravilla. Thank you. Flamenco Asensio. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Juan José Cerón Quintanilla. Navarro Medrano. Kenia Rebeca. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, Kenia Rebeca. Miss Maritza Reyes López. 
Samuel Isidro Tejada Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Miss Sonia Miriam Cortez Vargas. Present teacher. Good. And Yesenia Emperatriz Escoto Quinteriano. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Okay. Present teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Eh, ¿Su nombre, disculpe? Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Juan Ricardo. Uh -huh. Ok, perdón, aquí está. Ok. También, tampoco a mí me mencionó Alexander. <coughs> eh, Deme su nombre completo, por favor. Alexander Arondoño. Torres. Ah, es que ahí le voy a tomar asistencia porque fue el primero en ingresar. Oh. Okay, well, thank you. Let's continue. Okay, now I'm going to protect. Give me a sec. Okay, here we have the second class. Okay, it says time expressions. That is the name of this class. Okay, so the objective, I will be able to talk about routines and everyday situations. Vamos a practicar un poco cómo describir la rutina diaria. Vamos. For example, what activities? What activities do you do secretary do in your company? ¿Qué hacen las secretarias en las compañías, en las empresas? Here we have some sentences. Uh, Mr. Juan Alberto, can you help me to read the first sentence, please? Yes. And what, do, what activities do secretaries in do your company? Number one, she makes a reminder of the payment of the people and the stuff. Stuff. stuff of the company. Okay, good. Okay, just here. Reminder. Reminder. Okay. Uh, she... Number two, Miss Heidi Marisol, please. She. Okay. Um, she has the control of the Cash. Excellent. Uh, third, Mr. Josué Alexander, la tercera. Uh, preparing the mating in the company. Excellent. Uh, José Nicolás, checks. Company. Okay, emails. If you have to read emails. Emails. Excellent. Uh, next sentence, Miss Carolina, please. Prepares. Prepares correspondence. Excellent. Correspondence. Okay, good job. Uh, next sentence, Mr. Samuel. Okay. Tate, uh, I just, I don't know how to. The agenda? Takes uh -huh. the agenda. Agenda, okay. Take takes the agenda of the events in the company. Okay, aquí esta palabra se Events. 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 Good. Okay, and she receives the information from the bus. Okay, information from different people. Que okay. son como las actividades que realiza una secretaria. Okay, en las en las compañías o en las empresas. Okay, también tuvimos eh, this, uh, this conversation. Okay, we're going to have this conversation. Esta conversación la pueden encontrar en el manual. Okay, and we have Sonia, Matt. Okay. All right, let's 
we're going to have this. It says, what does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? Aquí el das es el auxiliar y el verbo principal es do, para que no haya una confusión. What does Dominic do? Well, she is, sec she is secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every, every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types report and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, eh, no sé si ya tienen, si tienen el manual o necesitan que le envíe esa imagen al chat para que la puedan, la tengan. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Si me la pueden ver al chat, teacher, a mí porque no lo tengo. Okay, good. Good, good. Thank you, teacher. Right okay, we're going to practice the, this conversation. Okay, for a minute. In one page of the notebook, the book it is a conversation. Yeah, in the the in the textbook. Okay. Yes. Vamos a, a practicar la conversación por un minuto. ¿En qué página está, maestro? Ahorita le indico. En la 11. ¿Cuál? 11. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? There you have. I sent to the chat. Ok. Teacher. Tommy. Yo no estoy en el WhatsApp y tampoco me arreglaron lo de la plataforma. Claro. Eh, se la voy a compartir y tal vez usted puede tomar la fotografía. Ya lo envié al chat también. ¿Y por qué no me agrego al chat? Eh, es que yo no los agrego. Enviaron ah. un enlace donde ustedes tienen que ingresar ¿Sí? y ahí se suscriben. Ok. Permítame. Dice que hoy volví a escribir y me dijeron que se van a comunicar conmigo para descargar el manual. Igual no me lo. Ok. No. Hello. Hello. Carla. Yes, Carla. Oh. Otra vez. Usted, ¿verdad? Mm. Comience, Sonia. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and descends in much every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Well, well, she is a secretary. 
Uh -huh. Well, she is a secretary. Okay. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, she, she, she should find we, she, she, well, she, she, types, type, type, report, and she, a my every day, she is, and a waiting, waiting woman. Hard working. Working woman, woman. Exactly. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yes, she is the big foot, foot, foot. first. Like to every every day in the office. Um, yes, arrive in the office. Arrive. In arrive. Arrive. Ah, o sea que pronuncio arrive. Y pronuncio que la i no ha arrive. Ah, arrive in the office. Ah. Uh -huh. Ahora demole vueltas. Okay, I think everyone is here now. Okay, uh, let me see. Miss, I need, well, Miss Sonia will be Miss Sonia. Okay. And Matt, uh, Mr. Alexander, you are Matt, please. Okay. Okay, three, two, one, action. What does Dominic do? She is a separator. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. When she types before and send it, she is a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the, the first person to arrive in the office. Good. Excellent. Okay, now. Uh, Miss Brenda, she will be Sonia, and Mr. Samuel, she will be Matt. Okay. okay. Three, two, one, action. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Excellent, good. Okay, <coughs> just we're going to practice okay, the pronunciation of this word. For example, we have secretary, 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 okay? Also we have Report. Recuerde exa eh, pronunciar un poquito exagerada la R. Decimos reports. Okay. Reports. Okay. Also, we have early. 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 Okay. Early. And esta, esta es como con una E cerrada. Es first. 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 Okay, first, first, second, third. Okay, once again, secretary. 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 Reports. 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 Early. 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 First. 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 Excellent. Okay, Great. now we have now we have this. Select the correct form of the verbs to complete the sentence. Okay. Select the correct form of the verb to complete the sentence. Aquí tenemos tres ejercicios. Okay, she types, she types, do or does, arrive or arrives. Okay, 
Let's discuss with our classmate for a minute. What's that? <clears throat> I send the picture to the chat in case you don't in case you don't have your manual. Envía la fotografía en caso se no tenga el manual ahorita. ¿Cómo se va? We're going to discuss these three uh, exercises. Oh, yeah, correcto. She types. Yeah. Yeah. She types mm -hmm. report. Eh, sería con ES. Yes. She types report. Yes. La segunda. Eh, does, does she arrive late? Hola. Does she arrive late? Yes. En la tercera. Yo creo que así es. Igual creo que... Ok, no. No, ya. Sí, yo sí. Yo no tengo, pues lo estoy anotando todo. Uh, sí. ¿Cómo hago? Ok, entonces quedaría She type The first Report. report. Mm -hmm. Does she arrive late? Yes. And does she arrive early? Yes. That is, that is correct. Yes. Can you repeat number three? Does she arrives early? Okay. Eh, cuando oh. es pregunta, ya no agregamos S al verbo. Únicamente solo es en afirmativa. Okay. It's Sería arrive. 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 Uh -huh. Sí. Sí. Eh, sin eh, sin sí. S, perdón. Exacto. Sin mm -hmm. S. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. That's it. All right, early. Hi, teacher. Creo que estoy solita. Ah, no, ya estoy. Ya estoy en otro grupo. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to this. We're going to discuss the answer. Okay, number. How about number one? Do you have number one? Volunteer for number one. 
sheet tape. Sheet tape report. report. Types. Okay. Types. Sheet type report. report. Types. Types report. Number two. Number two. Miss Sonia. Das. Arrive late. Arrive late. Excellent. Arrive About late. number three. Okay, here is the che arrives. En realidad, únicamente vamos a agregar S cuando es la forma afirmativa. Aquí es una pregunta, por lo tanto, el verbo se mantiene en su forma infinitiva. No vamos okay. a agregar S, solamente en afirmación. Sí. Okay. Does she arrive? Does she arrive early? Exacto. That she arrived early. Okay. She types okay. reports that she arrived late and that she arrived early. Early. Okay. Okay, a little bit simple present. For third person, como ya eh, explicamos, eh, únicamente eh, vamos a agregar S o ES cuando utilicemos eh, he, she, or it. Okay. For example, simply present for third person singular. It says he checks Dominic. Okay, Dominic, si lo tuviéramos que reemplazar por un sujeto, sería he. Entonces, diríamos Dominic goes. It for example, it goes there, or it checks, it likes. No tenemos, eh, for example, eh, they, my co-workers, the employees, check, go, or like. En este caso, ya no agregamos S o E S al verbo. Ok, en su forma de eh, pregunta, forma de pregunta, utilizamos los auxiliares das or do. Okay, for example, does she check uh, reports? Do they check reports? Okay, algo eh, que tienen que practicar bastante. Okay. Lo usamos does or do en, su, en la forma pregunta. Y recordarles que en pregunta no agregamos S o ES al verbo. Okay, I'm going to show you some examples. Okay, some examples using third person singular. Okay, for example, my son. Okay, let me see. Miss Carolina, you will read number two, Miss. Miss Brenda, you would read number three. Number four would be for Miss Heidi. And number five would be for Mr. Alexander. Okay, you can read it. Okay, my son lives in London. Number two. Your microphone, miss. She plays basketball. She plays basketball. Number three. He catches. Their train every morning. Excellent. Number four. Michael doesn't work. Doesn't work. Uh, number five, Mr. My father doesn't speak good English. Excellent. My father doesn't speak good English. Number six, Mr. Samuel Isidro. He goes to football every day. Excellent. He goes to football every day. Number seven, Miss Elsa Merino. Okay. He loves. He loves to play basketball. Excellent. Number eight, Kenia Navarro. He goes to a school. Okay. He goes. Okay for me. He goes. He goes to school. To school. Uh, number nine, Miss Carla Villalta. Nine. Does nine, he yeah. go to a school? Does he go to school? Excellent. Number ten, Mr. Carlos Martinez. 
she write an email to her best friend? Excellent, she writes, okay, 11, Mr. Juan Ricardo, please. He thinks he is very handsome. Good. Uh, 12, Miss Yesenia Escoto. It usually rains every day here. Excellent, it usually rains every day here. 13, Mr. Edgar Jose. It smells very delicious in the kitchen. Excellent. 14. Jose Nicolás, please. 14. We go to the gallery very day today. 14, mister. Ah, uh, we generally see some things Today. Together. Okay. Oh. Together. Together. Excellent. Okay. In 15, we go to gallery every Sunday. Okay. Tenemos unos ejemplos utilizando el presente simple con diferentes pronombres. Okay. Here we have. Ok, daily routine. Vamos a ver cómo hacer tu vocabulario para poder que usted pueda describir actividades que usted hace eh, en su rutina diaria. Daily routine. Ok. For example, we have. Uh, for example, we have. I get up, I take a shower, and I brush, I brush, sorry, I brush my teeth. Okay, what do you do every day? I get up, I take a shower, and I brush my teeth. Okay, what do you think is number one? I get up. I get up. Number two? I take a shower. I take a shower. Shower. Good. I get up. I take a shower. Aquí, ustedes ven que dice... Se escribe con O, shower, pero se pronuncia okay. como una A cerrada. Shower. 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 I take a shower. 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 Good. Good pronunciation. Okay. Then we have, what do you think is number three? Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Teeth. Okay. Teeth. Teeth. Excellent. Brush my teeth. Brush. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Excellent. Brush my teeth. Okay, si quieren tomar nota de estos dos funciones, se las voy a volver a proyectar. Get up. Second, it is, well, there, brush my teeth, brush my teeth. Okay, fifth, we have shave, shave, okay. okay in the of caballeros, shave in the morning. Shave. Okay, and how about number six? What do you think it is number six? We're gonna guess the number six. Get dressed. Get dressed. Good. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Esa, eh, la D al final se pronuncia como una P. Get dressed. Get dressed. Okay. Get dressed. Aquí tenemos ya seis actividades. Ok, ahí tenemos number seven. Wash my face. 
wash my face. Wash my face. Wash my face. Okay, here we have maquillarse, put on makeup, put on makeup, put on makeup. Put on makeup. Okay, we have number nine. It is, I brush my hair. I brush my hair. And we have, I comb my hair. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Uno es, creo, es cepillarse y el otro es peinarse. Brush my hair. I brush my hair. And I comb my hair. Eleven, I make the bed after I get up. Aquí estamos uniendo ya dos actividades. Vamos, estamos uniendo dos eh, actividades con eh, el linking word after, después de. Okay. O, o por ejemplo, I ordeno la cama después que me levanto. I make the bed after I get up. I make the bed after I get up. I get dressed at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Estamos diciendo la hora. Ok, utilizando la, la preposición at. At. I get dressed at seven o'clock. Ok, 13. I take a bath. Es como tomar una ducha. Take a bath. Take a bath. And finally, go to bed. For example, after this class, uh, you go to bed. Some of you go to bed. Okay. In 15, after I brush in my teeth, I sleep. I have breakfast. My breakfast is twice the slice of bread and milk. Tenemos un poquito más de información. Y no sé si desean que regrese alguna, alguna slide o prosigue. Okay, here we have another one, 17. I have or I eat lunch at 12 o'clock. I have or I eat lunch. I make a salad for my lunch. I say I make a salad for my lunch. Puede ser la bicicleta, puede ser como yo tengo el el almuerzo o yo como el almuerzo a las 12. Okay. We have more, more action. Also, we have clean the house. Clean the house. Limpiar la casa. Clean the house. Clean the house. En los días domingos, en okay, Sunday, tenemos para decir que eh, lava, 
y utilizamos do the laundry. Wash the clothes in washing machine. Washing machine. Do, do the laundry. Para decir, eh, los domingos lavo la ropa. Se dice, on Sunday, I do the laundry. I do the laundry. Okay, barret. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Okay. Also, we have iron the clothes. Planchat, iron the clothes. Watch TV. Watch TV. Feed the cat. Alimentar. Feed the cat. Or you can say, I feed the dog. Listen to the radio. Listen to the radio. Ok, aquí tenemos eh, diferentes actividades que usted puede utilizar para describir eh, una rutina diaria. Okay. Now we're going to have the questions. Okay, for example. Okay, um, for example. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Esa, esa pregunta se puede contestar. I usually get up at six o'clock. I usually get up at 5 p.m. I usually get up at eh, 10 p.m. Si ese es el caso. Se levanta a las 10 de la mañana. I get up at 8 o'clock. I get up at 3.30. For example, uh, let me see, Mr. Josue, what time do you usually get up in the morning? Get up in, uh, five. at five. At five. Okay. I get up at five. Yes. Here we have more. What do you what do you what do you do after you get up? Miss Sonia Cortez. What do you do after you get up? What do you do after you get up? I usually I usually get up uh, take a shower. Take a shower. Good. Number three, Miss Heidi Marisol. What do you do after having breakfast? Having breakfast. Desayuno. Sorry. Antes. No, después, después, después. Después, después. Ah. Um, I. I. Okay. I dry. Work. Okay, I drive to job. It's okay. I drive to the job. It's okay. okay. What time does the class start? The class starts at what time does the class start? Eight o'clock, ok. Vamos a contestarlo. Vamos a contestar. The class stars. Porque agregamos porque es neutro. The class stars. At eight o'clock. Good. Well, in your case, to a job. Ok. What time do you go back home? 
qué hora regresan a la casa? What time do you go back home? I come back home. I come back home at five o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay. Recordarles también cuando nos referimos a la hora siempre que hay que colocar la preposición, la preposición at. Okay. At five o'clock. At seven o'clock. I bought home at eight o'clock. Excellent, good job. I come back, I go to the job. For example, I come back home. Okay. So uh, we're going to discuss some of the questions. Okay, we want to do algunas preguntas. Go, but home. Vamos a, vamos a discutir, vamos a discutir. We're going to discuss these questions. Okay, entonces vamos a practicar o vamos a resolver esto. ¿Cómo es la cosa? Practice. 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 Yes. Por ejemplo, okay. what time do you usually get out in the morning? How about you, Miss Brenda? What time do you usually get up in the morning? Okay, in my case, I get up uh, usually at 4.30 a.m. every day. 4.30? Yes. Too early. That's yes. too early. <laughs> yes. Okay, vamos a, vamos a, okay, se contesta así. I usually, I usually get up in the morning. At... I usually get up. Okay. I usually get up at. I usually get up at. Four thirty o'clock. Eh, o'clock significa en punto. Entonces en ese caso le diría ah, okay, okay, yeah. four thirty. M. Okay. Four thirty. Okay. How about you, Mr. Ever? Okay. What time I do you get up in the morning? Five. What do you do after you get up? Well, in my case, after I get up, I usually uh, make my bed. I make my bed. How about you, Miss Kenya Navarro? Okay, how about Miss Brenda? What do you usually do after you get up? Okay, in my case, I, after get up, I take a shower. You take a shower. Good. Mr. Giovanni? Give me, give me one second. Okay. Miss Brenda, what do you do after having breakfast? Mm, I, I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Excellent. Can you repeat after me? Brush. 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 Excellent. Okay. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Excellent. I'm ready for, for question. 
Okay. Question. Okay, Mr. Joan. What do you do after having breakfast? What is the question? Number three. Number three? Yes, sir. I I wash my teeth. Okay, I wash my teeth. Excellent. Yep. What time does class start? Okay, this class starts at eight o'clock. Okay, okay. Starts. Okay, let me see. Did you, okay, vamos a cambiar el escuela por trabajo. What do you go, do you go to job, to your job by bus or by car? In my case, I drive. Okay, you drive. Excellent. Different yes, bird, yeah. You drive. How about Miss Brandon? In my case, I go to bus. Okay, I go by bus. Do you know what I mean? I go by bus. I go by bus. Excellent. What time do you go back home? In my case, I come back at seven, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, and you wake up very early. Yes. <laughs> you wake up at four thirty, and you come back home at seven o'clock. That's yes. All day long in the job. Yes. <laughs> all day. All day. All right. Uh, let me see. In my case, in my case, I, I'm gonna back at my home seven a.m. Seven a.m. in the morning. Yes, sir. I'm working right now. Ah, you work at night? Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, let me see. What, what, what time do you have lunch? Mr. Giovanni, what time do you have lunch? Um, I have a lunch around when, when I work. Uh, day on day. The day uh, I have lunch uh, around uh, 11 30, 11 45. Good. Okay, excellent. Where do you have lunch every day? Uh, I have my lunch at my job. Tengo, I have my lunch in my job. I have lunch at 12.30. 12.30. Okay. How about Miss Brenda? What time okay. do you have uh, breakfast? Do you have breakfast? Breakfast. I have my breakfast in my job at 7.30. In the morning. Seven. Seven uh, thirty. Seven thirty. In lunch. Yeah. At uh, twelve o'clock. Okay, good. See. And what did you do in your work? I'm sorry, Mr. Ever. The question is, uh, Miss Brenda, what ah. do you do in, in your work? In my work, I um, well, I work in the imprenta, la tarjeta. Ah, okay. Uh, and you? I work in base Comalapa. Okay, now that they, they we practice, okay, the different questions, 
eh, pregunta, vamos a practicar con alguien diferente. Okay, con un, un classmate, someone different. What do you have you have? I what do you do after you get up? I take a shower. Okay. okay. What do you drink yep. at Ibix the breakfast? I I brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Okay. What kind do they brush study? The class starts at eight o'clock. Okay. What do you did high school? In your case, to job. In your case, it's a job. A job. Uh -huh. Ah, a job. What do you What do you do at job? I work on. Um, Client citation. You work in customer service. Service al cliente. Customer service. Okay. Customer service. Customer service. About you, Mr. Nicolas. Uh, okay. So. What do you do in your job? Uh, as the tracer, the tracer in the human machine. Sorry? Frustration. I have a little frustration. Hola. Okay, and this will be the last time, last time. So you have two minutes.
Hello. Me voy. Um, what time do you go back home? Um, ahí le vamos a poner yo. I, quiero ver, ¿cómo le ponemos? Yo me voy o yo salgo a las 12. Ah, porque nosotras salimos a las 12. Yo a las 5 y media. Va. Teacher, Pero este, a las 12. solo una palabra me cuesta la pronunciación de usualmente, creo. Usual. Usually. 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 I usually, usually do different. Usually. Okay. Do usually. different. Es correcto que yo diga, I, I usually do different activities. I usually do different activities. O puede decir, para referirse, por ejemplo, al trabajo, ¿verdad? A hacer uh -huh. different activities, se puede decir, I usually do different tasks. Task. Uh, perdón, ¿cómo me se dijo? Lo voy a, se lo voy a escribir en el chat. Ok. Me puede decir different things, it's okay. Ajá, y este, he olvidado cómo poner eh, que yo, yo salgo a las 12. Eh, sale, por ejemplo, en una oración, porque digamos, si usted dice voy a salir a correr, se dice I go out. Pero digamos, eh, usted quiere decir me voy Ajá. para mi casa, I go Ajá. to my home. O, I go to my home. Le, ay, no, como se dice 12. O regreso a mi casa, podría decir I come back home. I come back home. Come back. I come back <coughs> home. A, vamos a ver a las 12. A, a, a. Tengo problemas con decir 12 yo. 12 12 12 12 12 12 para que sea mediodía eh, por ejemplo 12 tori ah, 12 tori 12 tori 12 tori y ahí, ese es PM. PM, ya. Yeah. PM, ok. Where do you have lunch every day? Uh, where? Uh -huh. <laughs> where? How often do you play with your friends? Do you play with your friends? I uh, usually play uh, twice a week, a week with my friends. We usually play uh, PlayStation or FIFA. And you, Sonia, how often do you play with your friends? I never play. <laughs> I play with my friend uh, one one time one. ¿Cómo se dice una vez? Once a week. Eh, teacher, una sugerencia, si sí, podríamos siempre hacerlo quizás como en grupo, en parejas, porque siento que aprovechamos mejor el, el tiempo, porque si de tres como que no... And I think no. we don't have enough time to practice. I'm sorry, Mr. Samo. I think we don't have enough time. Okay, because we're going to have more questions right now to practice. Pero yo en este último no estuve en ningún grupo hasta el final 
creo que me agregaron a otro grupo. Estuve yo solita en la sala 8 y de repente me pasaron a la sala 7. Ok, Mr. Sen. I'm going to take in consideration. Lo que pasa es que él, que como entonces estaba, no ingresó. Por eso estuvo sola unos momentos. Pero, pues, estaba atendiendo. Ok, here we have some more questions. Tenemos más preguntas. Ok, for example, do you usually pray at home? Pray es rezar o orar. What do you do after having dinner? What time do you usually study at home? Or what time do you do after finishing your homework or your assignment? Okay, so we're going to practice this question, these questions. Okay, there we go. Teacher, yo tuve un problema, no pude entrar al breaker room. No sé si me puede mandar ahí al, al grupo. Gracias. Eso significa. Sí, porque do you usually pray at home? How many times a, a days? ¿En qué tiempo? ¿Y qué días? Uh, no, es cuántas no. veces, cuántas veces. Ah, cuántas veces en el día. Uh -huh. Ah. Si sí, es el caso que usted reza o, o ora. Ajá, ajá, cabal. A la hora de la comida, en, en lunch. Uh, uh, Fíjense, I Como pray. dijo Marisol, before I sleep. Before you Antes go to de sleep. dormir. Antes uh -huh. de dormir. Uh, go to no. I get up. Al levantarme. A, okay. Entonces sería I pray. I pray. Pray. After I get up or before I get up. After. After. Antes o después. After. Okay. After I get up. I'll get up. Get up. Uh, mientras como uh, antes de comer, be, after. Antes sería af before. Before. Uh, uh, uh. Before. Before. And uh, lunch. Be, before at lunch. Mm -hmm. before, before lunch. So before lunch. Ah, uh, be, before lunch. Before lunch. Y. Y entonces sí, after sleep. Después de dormir. After, before. Después, antes. Ah, before, sería before, 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 before sleep. antes de dormir. Ah, vaya. Before, vaya. What do you, what do you do after having dinner? Having dinner. La cena. Antes dinner. de la cena. Dinner. dinner. Uh -huh. Dinner. Dinner. What do you do after having dinner? ¿Qué haces antes de la cena? Cocinarla. I cook my, di my dinner. Ok. And the next question. What time do you usually study at home? Um. I usually uh, study at home yeah. at eight o'clock. Yeah. At eight, okay. Mm 
en Samu. Sí. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I am usually a student. ¿Cómo digo una hora? Okay. Uh, the next question. Uh, what do you do after finishing your homework? Eh, ay, ay, ya no sé cómo decirlo. Eh, ay, ay, ¿cómo se dice cuidar a mi nieta? No sé cómo se dice. Perdón, excuse me. Take care. <laughs> I teacher is finishing my homework. Eso lo voy a escribir en el chat. Take care. I take care of my granddaughter. Okay, in, this moment, in this moment, me la trajeron antes. No sé cómo se dice eso. Pero me la trajeron antes y aquí la ando cuidando. Okay, so you, right now you are taking care of your granddaughter. Mira, aquí está. All right, beautiful. Me la trajeron antes, entonces aquí ando, pero, excuse me, teacher, pero me no la trajeron worry. antes. No se preocupe, yo entiendo perfectamente. Thank you. Ok, se dice take care, cuidado, take care. Take care. Alexander, the next. Do you usually brush your teeth before going to bed? No, 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 vamos, but teacher, I think that he's here with us. Hello? Nos hemos atrasado, teacher. ¿Qué pasó? Estamos en, apenas en la 14, en la 13. Eh, okay. Parece que explicó que pray es, es pray. orar, ¿verdad? Pray rezar. Es rezar o orar. En el caso de contestar que no. Eh, I don't. El, I don't I, uh, no, 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 I don't. Uh, no, I don't. I don't pray. No, I don't pray. Y, y obviamos el, el how many times a day. Sí, el obvio, porque no. Right. En la 14 es, what do you, en la, eh, también tengo una duda, en la anterior nos quedamos hasta la 9, que parece que está incompleta en el, o pareciera, no sé si entendimos mal. En la anterior decía. Ajá. Uh, does your teacher usually give homework? Uh, ah, homework. homework. Sí, el teacher acostumbra dejar tarea. Uh -huh. Y ahí no, ya esa última palabra no, <laughs> no dábamos que podía ser. Estábamos <laughs> suponiendo ahí porque no veíamos nada. Entonces es homework. Entonces vamos a poner ahí que el teacher... Como es tercera persona, sería... The teacher gives or the teacher doesn't give. The teacher doesn't. Doesn't give. Doesn't give. Sin esto. Doesn't give. Uh -huh. Give. Sin esto. Okay. Seguimos con el... 
14. What do you do after having dinner? Dinner. Dinner. Having dinner. What do you do after? ¿Qué hace después de, 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 de desayunar? <coughs> dinner es cena. Dinner es cena. De cenar. Having? Tener. Después de tener o comer. Después de tener la cena. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah. Yeah. Brush. También otra brush, brushing my teeth. I am brush. I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah. Se puede se puede contestar te Se puede decir, I always brush my teeth. Siempre se los pido. I usually or I never brush my teeth. I never brush. <laughs> I usually. <laughs> I usually brush. Brush my teeth. I usually brush my teeth. Okay. And the king says, what time do you usually study at home? ¿A qué hora estudiamos en casa? Yo vengo a las ocho y la clase empieza a las ocho. A las ocho. Entonces a las ocho. I usually. I usually. Or I usually study at eight. I usually study. Study at, at eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Study at eight. Okay. Homework. Homework. ¿Qué hace después de finalizar tu lugar de trabajo? Tu, tu trabajo en casa ah, no. o tu trabajo no. en casa. Ajá, tu trabajo en casa. Es, y ya tenemos que regresar, creo yo. Oh. <laughs> Is it the bar, maybe? Oh, yes. Yo Me too. <laughs> this group okay. came, 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 came. Teacher, verdad que eh, es uh -huh. part time es tiempo libre. Part time. Part time. Part time es como un trabajo de medio tiempo. Ah, bueno, ah, no <laughs> Tiempo libre es free time. Free time. Free time. Es part time is. Part-time es tiempo, eh, un trabajo de medio tiempo. Por ejemplo, si trabajas todas las mañanas, dicen, ah, I got a part-time. I have a part-time. O si solo trabajas en las tardes, dicen, uh, I have a part-time. Eh, ¿Qué hicieras tú si tuvieras tiempo? Un tiempo ¿Cómo dices? ¿Qué es? Si tuviera tiempo libre, si era tu trabajo. Si no tiempo libre. In my case, I, I don't have understand. a part time. <laughs> I I sleep. <laughs> mm. In my case, I I have spare time. In, I walk to the park and go to the shopping. And you will say. ¿Qué al final qué 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 dijo de de qué qué era era qué? Me tengo que estar saliendo de. de... Medio tiempo, como un trabajo de medio tiempo. Ah. Practice. In the ports. <laughs> in the practical, in the Aquí me confundí un poco. Pensé que me preguntaban cómo se decía part. Y es lo que me estoy diciendo es part, right? Es diferente. Part. part time. Part time es como un extra. Ah. Un trabajo extra. 
confundí, ah. pensé que decían part time, pero es, es, es part time. Eh, un poco no, tiempo. ya me confundí. Es trabajo extra, es part time. Ah, ah trabajo ah. extra. Es que le puede eh, ah, escribir en el chat. In my case, I have part time. Um, I am sleep. Si tuviera tiempo extra es, ¿verdad? Trabajo extra. Trabajo extra. Trabajo extra. Sport I time. don't like a part time. <laughs> but if you, if you, I have a if lot you of earn my, more money. Yes, I earn more money. I have a lot of. Uh... Hola. Nicolás. Hola. Hola. Es trabajo extra. Ah. ah sería. I I I free day from the house. Flower, they flowered the house. Okay. Ya las practicamos um, todas. Volvemos a, la volvemos a donde tuvimos un poquito de inconveniente, por ejemplo, eh, esta uh -huh. última, ¿verdad? Como que no nos salió mucho. Uh -huh. <risa> Creo que nos okay. confundimos. <risa> sí, al final es tiempo extra, ¿verdad? Sí. Como o trabajo, trabajo extra. extra. Trabajo extra. Trabajo extra. Spare time. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you do if you have a spare time? Okay. In my case, uh, maybe I, if I have a spare time, maybe I earn a lot of money, but I, I buy, I buy a lot of shoes or clothes, mm -hmm. maybe. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, if I have a spare time, um, and me too, I, I, how do you say, ganaría mucho dinero, teacher? Air. 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 What? Air. 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 Uh-huh. I air. Air. I earn uh -huh. a lot of money. Good. I heard in the teacher in the chair. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, do you usually pray at home? Um, yes. I usually. When? When? Um, in the morning. In the morning. In the work. In the after the bed. As after um, go to bed. After go to bed. Good. How about Miss Brenda? Uh, yes. Uh, the first in the morning when when i get up and also i i when i go to 
bus uh, for my job. Okay. And, and finally, in, in the night. At night. Um, Good. At night. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Jose Nicolas, do you pray? Uh, ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué me... Orar o rezar. Pray. Ah, uh, uh, good morning. And next, I... ¿Qué sería? I pray in the I morning. Pray in the morning. I, I pray in the morning. 18. Okay. Good. Uh, let me see. About what do you do after having dinner? In what my case, do? I <laughs> I spend time with my daughter and my family. Okay, and also I good. I watch movies or videos. Excellent. Video. Good answer. You spend time with your daughter. And you, you spend time with your family. Eh, pasar tiempo con. Spend time. Excellent. Okay, let's stop right here. Okay, well, we're Hello. going to discuss the last questions that you had. Most of us did a few last questions. Number one, it says, do you usually pray at home? And if so, how many times a day? Example, how about Miss, Miss Heidi? Do you pray? Do you pray? Repeat, please. Sure. Do you usually pray at home? Do you? So, you a number? Number one. Number one. Well, it, sorry, it is number 13. 13. 13. Okay, I study at home at 8 p.m. Okay. Eh, la pregunta dice que si usted usualmente ora o reza en su casa. Do you pray? Okay. okay. Ay, teacher, es que tengo aquí un solo desorden, no sé. Okay. ¿Qué okay. número es? Perdón, perdón, el número, el número. 13. 13. Okay. okay. I pray, I pray to take, to time, one before lunch and before sleep. Excellent. About Miss Carolina, do you pray? At home? Yes, uh, I pray five times. Oh. Um, I pray after I uh, get up, mm -hmm. before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner. Um, um, before sleep. Oh, good. Many times. Okay. okay. Good, excellent. Uh, what do you do after having dinner? What do you do after having dinner? How about Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas? Repeat the question, teacher. Sure. What do you do after having dinner? What do you do have after? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I, uh, after I dinner, I Brush my teeth. Excellent. Good job. You brush uh, your teeth. Yeah. 
Then I I receive um class in the English. Okay, you receive English class? Yes, English class. But sorry. And they finish and I go into the sleep. Good. You go to you go to sleep. You go to sleep. Good. How about me, Sonia Cortez? What do you do after having dinner? Um I usually brush my teeth and watch TV and now study English. Excellent. Good job. Good pronunciation. Mr. Alexander Doña Flores. About, for example, uh, what time do you usually study at home? I usually study 7 7 p.m. I usually study at 7 p.m. Okay, good. Let me see. How about, how about me? Yesenia Scott, or what time do you usually study? I usually study at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay, 8 p.m. Good. Next question says, uh, what time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? How about Mr. Edgar Jose Cruz? Um, when I have a uh, free time and I don't have in my work, I, I usually, work yep, uh, I usually go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, but when I work in my night shift, I go to bed at 8 a.m. A.m. Oh, too tired. How about Miss Brenda Lisette? Miss, uh, do you usually pray at home? Yes, teacher. I usually in the morning mm -hmm. uh, when I go to uh, the bus for my um, and my lunch and in the before I sleep. Excellent. Okay. Uh, what do you do after you get up? What do you do after you get up, Mr. Jose Nicolas? Get up is uh, levantarse. What do you usually do after you get up? Miss Maritza Reyes, what do you usually do when you get up? What do you do after you get up? ¿Qué hace después de levantarse? I usually go. Okay, you go to work. You go to work. And Miss Sonia Cortez, what do you do after you get up? Um, I cook my food. Okay, you cook your food. Excellent. Okay, and Mr. Alexander Doña Flores, what do you do after you have your breakfast? Your breakfast. Después del desayuno. What do you do after you your breakfast? I brush my teeth. Your brush your teeth, Mister. Brush. brush, okay, Mister Samuel Isidro. Uh, yeah. Okay, what time do you have lunch? Okay, well, I have lunch at one p.m. One p.m. Good, excellent. Ok, well, eh, ya, es, ya tuvimos un poco de, eh, de las actividades que, que comun, comúnmente hace durante el día. Ahora voy a tener un ejemplo, por ejemplo de su daily, my daily activity. Ese es un ejemplo. Okay. Y dice, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to tell you about my daily activity. Usually, 
get up at six o'clock in the morning. After that, I make my bed and take a shower. And then I get dressed at 6.30 a.m. I wear my school okay, uniform or my job uniform. After getting dressed, I have breakfast. I have breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning. Before going to, to school or job, in su caso es job, I pray. And then I go to school. I arrive at school at uh, or to your job at 7, 10 a.m. The, the class starts at 7.30. I study at school six hours every day, except Sunday. I take a break at 11 o'clock with my classmates. I go back home at 1.30 p.m. After, the, after that, I get undressed and wash my hands. I have lunch at two o'clock in the afternoon. I watch TV after I have lunch. I go to English course at 3 p.m. and I go back home at five o'clock. And then I take a shower and get dressed. My family and I have dinner at seven o'clock after I study. Okay, este es un ejemplo de cómo describir su daily routine. Y se lo voy a compartir en el grupo. Para que se tenga una referencia de cómo puede describir su daily routine. Ok. Ahora... Eh, lo que vamos a hacer, vamos a describir su eh, daily routine. Okay? Su daily routine. Por ejemplo, eh, usted puede decir a la hora que se levanta, qué hace después de levantarse, a qué hora se va a su trabajo, okay? hasta finalizar okay? que se va a, a dormir. Vamos a crear nuestra propia daily routine. Que va a ir cambiando, por ejemplo, son las horas, okay? ya que la se despierta, a qué, hora, a qué horas hace su cama, etc. Así que vamos a hacer esta actividad en grupo. Okay. There we go. Vamos a crear nuestra daily routine. Daily routine. I usually get up at five o'clock in the morning. Get that rest. Then I um they I uh, are going to work. Then I 
I arise my board and I eat my breakfast in the cafeteria. And then I I receive I give class in the, the science. How do you I have breakfast after that I brush my teeth again and at around I make my bed I take my bed I make my bed take a shower and take a shower Come on. Everyone. Everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I go. I go. I go lunch today. Today do a good midday activity. <coughs> Teacher, y la y la y las cosas que envió al al grupo las vamos a hacer con nuestros horarios, ¿verdad? Exacto, ese es un ejemplo que usted puede seguir. Ok, y lo podemos, podemos eh, ¿cómo se llama? Seguir la estructura esa y solo exacto. irle. Ok, Cambiando, perfecto. exacto. Ok, perfecto, muchas gracias. Eso es un ejemplo eh, para que se. Bien. Eh, ¿cómo se, ¿Cuál sería la diferencia a decir I'm going to my job o I'm going to my work? ¿Cuál sería lo correcto? Sería I go to my job. Perdón. I go. I go. I go no es I'm going to. Okay. I go to my job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo voy a mi trabajo. I go to my job. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. En el transporte público sería in the tran public the transport. Public, public transportation. Transport. Okay. Public transportation. Or I, I travel by bus. Ah, okay. 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 Uh... Vamos a mañana, el día de mañana vamos a, a presentar nuestra daily routine. Ok. Ahorita voy a tomar la asistencia por última vez. Ok. Y como es eh, al final se va a quedar, ese día es el turno de la señorita Heidi. Okay, para la one by one. Okay, eso es, cada, al final de clase se va quedando uno para resolver dudas. ¿Quién dijo teacher, perdón? 
sería este día, le corresponde a la señorita Heidi Marisol. Okay. Perfecto, perfecto, teacher. Ok, vamos a, voy a tomar la asistencia. Okay. Alexander Aaron. Present teacher. Brenda Lisset. Present teacher. Carla Lisset. Carlos, ok, Present Carlos teacher. Alberto. Carlos Alberto Segura. Carolina Eleonor. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Edgar José. Present teacher. Have a good one. You too. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Erickson René. Erickson René. Ever. Giovanni Ortiz. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Heidi Marisol, here. Jose Nicolás García Maravilla. Present teacher, good night. Bye bye. Josué Alexander Flamenco Asensio. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Juan, Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher, bye. Bye bye. Juan José Cerón. Bye. Juan José Cerón Quintanilla. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Have a good one. Thank you too. Thank you. Kenia Rebeca. Present teacher. Maritza Reyes. Present teacher. Samuel Isidro. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Mi, Sonia Miriam. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Yesenia Emperatriz Escoto. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay. Okay. Solamente se daría mi Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Ok, Miss Hey. Estas, estos minutos para que si usted si tiene alguna duda acerca del tema, algún tema, pues le pueda eh, explicar. Usted okay, me indica teacher. qué es lo que le gustaría. Este, es que sí, le, sí comprendí, pero todavía tengo como, 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 como se dice, como. Dudas. Dudas, dudas. En lo, de, en lo del present simple. En lo, en lo donde se le habría que agregar ese solo cuando son preguntas en las afirmativas. Y, y creo que ahí me perdí un poquito. Con gusto, ahorita le, le, le voy a explicar. Ok. Es que lo que sucede es que estuve con una compañera que me estaba diciendo este otra cosa, entonces yo me confundí con eso, con lo que me dijo la compañera y con lo que ya había escuchado entonces ya como que los apuntes se me hicieron así una mezcla de cosas con gusto de permitir, cargando la la power ok, perfecto ok, vaya, eh, acá está me, me, ¿Me deja saber si la puede visualizar? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, perfecto. Bye. El presente simple es, por ejemplo, cuando usted dice, me gusta eh, la comida. O, o cuando decimos, a ella le gusta eh, las hamburguesas. Ese es, un, ese es el presente simple. Una razón bien básica. Es la, es la primera eh, tiempo gramatical que se estudia. Entonces tenemos en inglés, como les dije, se... Utiliza, a la hora de hablar se utilizan siempre todos los pronombres. Siempre vamos a decir, a mí me gusta eh, el queso, en este caso de esta oración. Entonces tenemos los, los sujetos o los pronombres I, we, you, they, 
le mencionamos he, she, it. Entonces, cuando utilicemos el pronombre we, I, you, they, vamos a, un, a colocar únicamente el verbo, sin, sin modificar nada. Por ejemplo, usted, vamos a utilizar el verbo eh, study, estudiar. Vamos a decir que usted, que nosotros estudiamos eh, inglés. Entonces decimos, we study English. Okay, we study English. Es una oración simple en su forma afirmativa. Pero para hacer la negativa, vamos a utilizar don't. 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 Okay, vamos a decir eh, que a usted no le gusta eh, salir. No, vamos a decir que a usted no le gusta. Eh, okay. A usted no le gusta la ranchera, digamos. I don't like, I don't like rancheras. O oh, a usted no le gusta el pollo, por ejemplo. I don't like chicken. Para decir, a ellos, a ellos no les gusta el queso. Decimos, they don't like cheese. Cheese. Ok, acá viene, creo que donde se está un poquito, donde le viene la confusión. Utilizamos los pronombres he, she, it. Cuando utilizamos únicamente estos tres pronombres, en el caso de estos tres pronombres, en la forma afirmativa, vamos a agregar S o e S al verbo. Como se puede ver, like, termina en E, únicamente vamos a agregar S. Decimos, a ella le gusta el queso. She likes cheese. O para decir, a él le gusta eh, Facebook. He likes Facebook. Para decir, a él le gusta escuchar música electrónica. He likes to listen electronic music. Okay. En su forma negativa, ya no vamos a agregar ton. Vamos a utilizar tasen. Y en negación, no agregamos S ni ES al verbo. Únicamente okay. vamos a agregar S en la forma afirmativa. Ok, justamente en esa parte es que, es que o sea, me había confundido el, 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 en el negativo donde le íbamos a quitar, a, a quitar la S. Uh -huh. okay, pero... Sí, me imagino. Sí. Vamos a okay. proseguir. Ah, también tenemos los verbos especiales. Estos verbos eh, son have and do. Por ejemplo, have, eh, cuando, sea, cuando lo utilicemos con he, she, it, Va a ser a has. Has. Y cuando utilicemos con they, we, you, and I, será have. Para decir ella tiene. She has. Para decir eh, nosotros tenemos. We have. Al igual que tú. Tú tiene dos funciones. Puede ser la función de auxiliar y la función del verbo. Para decir ella hace. Entonces decimos she does. Es decir, ella hace la tarea. She does the home. Cuando utilizamos los otros tres, cuatro, no, cuatro pronombres, regresará a su forma original, que sería do. They do. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto, teacher. Hay dos, aquí hay dos oraciones. Por ejemplo, para decir, ella tiene dos hijos. She has two sons. Para decir, a ella, no le, a ella, ella no tiene dos hijos. She doesn't have two sons. Aquí ya regresa a su forma original el verbo. Como puede ver. Ya no decimos has. Tiene que have. Have. Ajá. Al okay. igual que... Eh, aquí, aquí hay otras, otras dos oraciones. Utilizan, en este caso utilizamos el pronombre they. Decimos they have two cars. En este caso, y, en, sí. y en el caso en, la, en el caso de la negativa donde dice they don't entonces el verbo también es normal. normal entonces Ajá. solo se le agrega el auxiliar don't exacto don't oh, ok ok perfecto aquí está la forma de pregunta como puede ver no agregamos s ni nada solo 
solo que el auxiliar DAS únicamente será utilizado en Fishy It y el auxiliar Do será utilizado únicamente con I, you, we, and they. Ok, el DAS para las terceras personas y el Do para primeras y segundas. Ajá, por ejemplo, para preguntar, eh, ¿a ella le gusta eh, escuchar música electrónica? Sería, hey, does she like to listen electronic music? O para preguntar a ella le gusta o, a, o ella mira Netflix sería does she watch Netflix voy a preguntar okay. ellos trabajan eh, claro por ejemplo do they work in claro Esas son las formas la forma preguntas las formas de negación y las formas afirmativas Ok. Más claro, más claro. Sí, 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 más claro, súper más claro. Sí. ¿Tiene otra, te otra pregunta? Um, no, la verdad es que solo en esta parte. Bueno, okay. ya la pronunciación yo me imagino que poquito a poquito voy Exacto. a ir. Exacto, poco a poco. <ríe> Tengo problemas de pronunciación no graves. No se preocupe que estamos aprendiendo y eso es normal. <ríe> Creo que en la, en la lectura casi no, pero sí en la pronunciación, así que... Ok, vamos, eso se adquiere practicar. Para eso estamos así en es. las clases. Así es, y muchas gracias, teacher. Con mucho gusto. Entonces, good night. Good night, take care. See you tomorrow. Gracias.